Girl, <laughs> y'all, yeah, again, yeah, again, mukbangers. I, I, I don't get it. I really don't. I'm up here looking at myself. Yes, uh, I've been looking at Fatal Attraction and, and make, Megan the Stallion, but oh, we were gonna get into this video, um, going natural counseling in, in 2020 by Curly Guy, but. I was watching, this came up in my recommendation because of the views. And it looks like, yet again, the mukbangers can't mind their dang on business. They can't sit there, you know, go ahead and eat your crap. And I'm not talking about B-Love's life. She's responding to the drama. You know, you can't sit there and dip your food in your butter, whatever the hell they be doing. You got to start talking about people. I just don't say, my, the world would be so much better if people would just mind their business. If you have a problem with someone, call them up, you know, uh, send them an email, don't make a video about it. And so I guess this is what B-Love's like. I don't know the people they use. I don't even know who the people they're talking about. I know, I know a couple of y'all familiar with this girl, B-Love's life. Um, the only thing I will say about B-Love's life, uh, I like her as a mukbanger. Some of her stuff can be nasty. I don't, I don't watch a lot of her stuff. Um, I do like that she's kind of branching out and she, she is a true business woman and I respect anybody who's all about the bag and their business. And she seems to be a down to earth chick. She made a, I'm, I'm just going to show y'all. She was cooking the other day. <laughs> I was laughing my ass off at the comments because um, I, I I do a lot of lurking. I don't really comment on people's videos. But let me see if I can find it. Child, I can't see it. Why does it say? Anyway, I, I can't find it. So she was making some chili, right? And um, y'all, why did she add like a ridiculous amount? I can't find it. She added... A ridiculous amount of canned Harmel, whatever the hell. First of all, canned chili is the devil. That you will be in the bathroom for days eating that crap. But she put canned chili and mixed it with a real. She, I thought she was making real chili from scratch. She was. I guess she was grounding hamburger beef, and then all of a sudden she was putting canned. I'm like, oh baby, mm. oh everybody gonna be sick. Mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> Hello, 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 girl. I'm looking like, <laughs> I'm looking like I, I sell cans, collect and sell cans on the side. <laughs> oh, girl, I drag my own self, y'all. I'm tired, I'm busy, I'm stressed, but I'm, I'm alive and, and I'm saved and sanctified. 2020, happy new year, y'all. Help us. 2020 the reason why I'm tired is because first of all it's the first beginning of the year and I'm excited I'm getting a little bit of anxiety um over oh, some other stuff girl but God is good um no he really is but one of the things that's going on too is I recorded a bunch of videos and then I edited edited a bunch including JB so within over the course of two weeks, I have recorded eight videos between JB and Arciano. That's a lot, y'all. Within two weeks, I did eight. Okay, we're going to home. Girl, that's a whole nother story. My mama, this half been planning her, her birthday party for a year. And y'all, I'm a planner and she knows this. And so she sends me a text message over the weekend and she's like, I want you to put together my program. And she sends, she, you know, lets me know all the stuff that's going on. And um, she's like, uh, it's gonna be at this time, yada, yada, yada. I said, now hold up now. You, you, you had all this time to tell me you want me to put together your program because January is busy for me because of JB and we're going back to school after the winter break. And so I'm busy as hell, like the first two weeks of January, y'all, I'm busy. I'm busy at work, we're in the middle of a new release, still in the middle of this release new courses coming up, so I am, yeah. And she, if I had to do any type of planning, I wanted to do it on my time off. Like, 
So, I'm not gonna say no to my mama, but I, I let her know. I said, Helpa, you, you've been known all this time. You wanted a program, you should have let me know. We've had all this time. I'm like, we, we still have a month, you know, but still now I gotta crunch down. And so I was just going over some things with my mom. Yeah, I have to check the time because I was gonna pick up JB. That's a whole nother story. That was the first day they went back. Well, I tell you, JB had a complete meltdown this morning. Complete, I didn't even touch him either. A complete, oh, I wanted to snatch his little ass up so bad, y'all. Excuse me, but it was like a complete jumping up and down and having a fit melt, all because I said, you got, we gotta get, he was playing his little, little raggedy ass toy, his game that he got for Christmas. And I said, you, we gotta get ready to go. Um, cause we had a dentist appointment this morning. He was already going to be late for school. His dentist appointment was at 9, 8, 9 a.m. I let him sleep until 7. Right? He stayed up around doing whatever. So an hour before it's time to go, I'm like, we got to start getting ready. And so I guess he was in the middle of uh, Super Mario, whatever the hell he playing. And he was right at the end and I made him mess up. <laughs> <laughs> Child, I made him mess up, fall down the hall. I heard a do 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 do. He threw a fit. I looked at him like, and me looking at him really got him going. Child, he was afraid. Oh, I know he probably had a, a draining day. He's tired. I know he's tired because he cried all morning. Um, I took that game away. His game, his game is mine. I'm, I'm, I would even be mean enough to play that game in front of him. And <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Speaking of y'all, I'll go back to my mom in a minute. It's his birthday week, so yeah, it's a lot going on. Um, I have Friday off and Monday off. My husband have he has a couple of days off also. We always take JB's day. For, for years since our baby was born, we always take um, our birthdays off together because he had the nerve to be born the day after me, my husband, and then we take JB's birthday off. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be going to an indoor resort. I'm taking y'all along with me. It's a new resort here in Scottsdale. Apparently you don't even have to leave the place. I would be in there lit. Yes, they have a bar at the pool too. Let me go ahead and find, I didn't think I gotta find my, um, I gotta find my bathing suits, girl. So yeah, um, that's coming up and my neighbor just, um, reminded me I forgot to invite her I'm having another I don't know why I do this every year I do this all of a sudden I'm like oh let's have something for JB and I'm a planner and I wait to the last minute to it's not necessarily last minute so yesterday I text a bunch of people it's a week before JB's birthday technically and so I, I touch I text some random people and say hey you want to come over for cake because I make JB a cake every year and why not invite, you know, at least the neighborhood people, Miss Lori, my, my neighbors from Texas, and like one or two of his friends. Like we do this every year. And so my one friend was like, oh girl, I, I have a um, eyelash appointment that that um, day, but I'll change it for JB. She loves us from JB. She's like, I'll change my eyelash appointment for JB. I really want this, this right here. Yeah, now, now I'm really looking into it. It's really bright on this camera, girl. Now I'm really looking into the what happened with the Monk Bank community. So Cliff Notes version. I don't know why people do this. Some of these people, I have no idea. I know who B Loves Life is. So I guess there was this person named L Lips who reached out to a very well-known Monk Banger named Prissy and said, hey sis, my birthday's coming up New Year's. I wanna know if we could do a meet and greet in Atlanta. So 30 odd African-American mukbangers, to say, I'm like, is that, is that many uh, black mukbangers on YouTube, girl? I know. They all decided to have a meet and greet, I guess, in Atlanta. And this other couple, I'm looking at their video now, called Trey and Nene, or Nay, is it Nene? Trey and Nene? Trey and Nene decided to have it at their house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they brave as hell. Yeah, brave. So anyway, they decided to open up their house to have this meet and greet slash birthday party, right, for this other YouTuber. I guess he ended up being ridiculously late to his own event. And here these people made plans, had all these folks, and he was the last one to show up with like an entourage of people. He then went on to make a, a video, um, defaming basically talking about these people be loves life and like a bunch of people y'all 
it's drama and I'm here for it, so I'm watching it. But yeah, this first of all, I would never, and they just said this, that people were like, I can't believe you would open up your home, why would you do this? And they're like, they're trying to defend why they open up their home for this because the, the wife is saying, who wants to go to a hotel and you know be laying up on where someone let their head in. You don't even have to do that. There are hotels that you can actually rent out a conference room. I'm sorry, but my home is my sanctuary. I'm a very private, I'm a YouTuber, but I'm a very private person. I wanted to do it then. I rarely let seven people over my house. Like, no. So to have an event where I'm inviting 30 odd people, whoever they're, they're bringing over to your house, yeah, you gotta be careful, y'all. Yeah, I know where I'm at. Look, every time I come in here, as soon as I walk in, the lady's like, hey, Viv, girl, but don't be calling my name out. I don't even come in here that much. <laughs> uh, oh, I am here to pick up some bowls and some other stuff for the party. Let's see. I already have silverware, I already have napkins. I just need bowls. I'm gonna be doing potato and corn soup. If they don't like it, they don't have to eat it. And it's really gonna be leftovers because I'm making it tomorrow and I'll just throw it in the crock pot the day of the party. Oh, I need to get JB a um I'm gonna be decorating with balloons. I don't know if I wanna spend the time to do a balloon arch. I, I, I don't know if I wanna do that. I mean, I'm not doing anything Saturday. I guess I could. <sighs> I just need a little bag, y'all. Cause his presents are cassette tapes. Y'all, y'all gonna laugh when you see what I got them. Oh, y'all, so excited. I got all, everything I needed. Ran all my errands. And it's, it's just not 9.30, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go home, work all the way through. I have a meeting at after 11.30, and then I'll wash my hair, set my hair. Um, oh, the guy at Stickle said he could not print out my Super Mario sign because it has Super Mario on it. Hell, oh, that's okay. That's all right. Hell, I could do it myself, honestly. I really do need to get a printer at home, y'all, but I've had so much bad luck with printers, and mostly when it comes to the cartridge. I mean, it's just been a cluster of things, cartridges, everything. So, um, you know what this person is doing. I have so much trash in my front seat, and I don't like keeping my car dirty. I mean, literally, I, I don't like that. Let me check my mail, y'all. Work. I'm working with this girl today, and she's just, she's being difficult. I'm trying to help her, but she's just all over the place. Yeah, so yeah, I went ahead and um, got some bowls, because I figured, you know what, some people don't like to just go in and have dessert. You know, I don't mind. Maybe they want something else to eat. So a good, another good tip, if you don't want to like, do like this is if you want to do a party at your home if you don't want to do like a bunch of different food pick something like pick one thing and then do a, a do a lot so example a taco bar so have some um you could do like uh ground beef or chicken and have them in crock pots and do like a taco bar or do a soup right now it's cooler do one or two soups if you're having a big crowd or do one signature sh soup and have an, an assortment of toppings a good one is taco soup i'm going to be doing potato and corn soup with no meat okay it'll be made with chicken broth and i think everyone that's coming over eats meat but still i'm not going to have any meat in it and um, then I'll have like crackers on the side. And because this is just a cake cutting, you're not, I'm not gonna, you know, really. And the only thing I've had to purchase was two more cans of corn that I purchased up here at the Dollar Tree. I have everything else at home. So I'm technically, I'm going to be making it um, tomorrow for lunch, but I will make a fresh batch, literally just put everything in the crock pot and it can be cooking, you know, until everyone comes over, sprinkle a little parsley on top. Um, 
I could get some oyster crackers, but I'm not spending any more money. They're on the bulletin board. So yeah, let me turn that down. <clears throat> I'm listening to the most positive person. Girl, after looking at all that stuff with the mukbang community, and I'm gonna summarize that here in a bit, because I think I, I don't know if I put that in this particular vlog or not. The most positive person, in my opinion, or celebrity, on uh, on YouTube is Kim Coles. Her energy is so. And Kim Coles is the actress that played in *A Living Single*. For those of you who are not aware, um, she was the happy-go-lucky rainbow, rainbows and unicorns. And I'm gonna make you, I'm gonna craft you up something to make you feel better type of personality. But her energy is almost like you know I'm drinking warm cocoa on a cold day. Give me some chicken and dumplings. Um, I'm gonna call you up when you're feeling bad, but I'm also gonna tell you the truth. I absolutely love the energy. Uh, she's on, she has the self-help type of videos, but it's not overbearing and it's not coming off as, I think I'm better than you. She's very humble in her, in her disposition. So check her out. Again, it's her YouTube channel is called The Real Kim Coles. Cause you have some celebrities on here that I be sighing. Like sometimes I'm like, you getting on my nerves. Those of them who have YouTube channels. Um, but I follow her. I follow the funniest celebrity YouTube channels, y'all. I follow her. Um, I follow <laughs> Jody Watley. She's very humble too. I like her on, on YouTube. Anyway, y'all, I'm out here in front of Walmart. There are a couple of other things. Look, my budget is $15. At this point, now I'm at 75 total for everything I purchased for the birthday party. But I still think that's pretty good considering, you know, that I'm doing food, drinks, cake, decoration, quote unquote entertainment, favors. That's pretty good to do it at 75, 70, 75 dollars. Um, so I'm just here to picking up a couple of things to decorate his cake because I will be making his cake today. And I do apologize for the lighting, girl. I'm going to be making the cake today and the brownies today. I may get started on decorations. It depends on how I'm feeling. Um, but it was so funny just, just listening to Kim Cole's um, video this morning. It got me thinking about, in this particular video, it was called Lies, Darkness, and Your Haters. And she basically was was stating that how some people are like, I, my haters en encourage me, or I, I, you know, I, I like to have haters. And she was basically saying, you know, why would you want to have haters? Why would you want that energy? Or oftentimes, some people are afraid to branch out and do what they need to do because they are afraid of having haters, you know? So don't allow that fear of not knowing of what other people think about you um, get in the way of your desires, your purpose, etc. When I, I telling y'all, I was watching all that issues with the mukbang community and it went a lot crazier than I thought. There are so many people involved. And at the end of the day, y'all, you have to be very careful who you associate yourself with, whether it be on the on YouTube, at work, family life, whatever. That's why I'm very, very, very cautious of who I let into my home, who I associate myself. I will stalk you for a few months. I would figure out what your social media, I would figure out, and I would stalk you before I, even my my circle of friends is very tiny and I'm okay with that. Oh my God, speaking of, there go petty ass Justine. <laughs> that energy over there is, anyway. Oh, y'all, I'm excited. Um, I'm excited to share my babies for my baby's birthday. Even, you know, he was getting on my nerves this morning, girl. Put your shoes on. Put your shoes on. Brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. But I was smiling because I'm like, I have my my I have a healthy seven year old. He's a little crazy, but he's mine. He's my crazy, and it's a blessing because I wasn't supposed to have kids, y'all. It was like, um, you're older, you have all these issues. You got fibroids, girl. You're not having any babies. So to have him and to have him to be healthy and you know for me to be relatively healthy is truly a blessing and that's how you have to look at your life y'all when you're under stress like that be just humble yourself and look at what you have you know what i mean because you don't have to have there's always someone who's worse off than you are at the end of the day always i got my legs i got my titties i got okay vivian but you know what i mean i got i, I got body parts <laughs> oh no i got to keep on moving yeah, I'm here getting some fondant. These are the little things that I made out of the fondant, y'all. This is just looking at tutorials. I have no experience in doing this. 
Um, again, this is Mario Brothers, and I'm gonna get ready to ice the cake. I'm gonna freeze it, and then I'm gonna decorate. Them. Oh my God! That is so cool. cool. Yeah, you can touch it. Well, 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 yeah, yeah. That's just don't touch the icing because that's what people are eating. Yeah, this is a cake I make for JV. Yeah, he's gonna fall over. That's why I have that over here because I don't want it falling over. Your number seven. I should bigger. I think I should bigger. And then you look at the top there. I got your games on the top. Oh my god! I didn't even see that. Oh my god! Is that what you expected? You didn't expect all of that? I did it. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. I want to surprise you with that. Good morning, you guys. Girl, I know I look crazy. I'm gonna push this bunny back on. Let me It's early in the morning. It is JV's birthday extravaganza weekend. So excited. So y'all, I decided the last minute to at least have one hot food for the kids. Even still, even still with me going up here and getting these chicken nuggets, <coughs> grapes and stuff it's still under a hundred dollars y'all you don't have to break the bank to do stuff for your family and for your kids in general so yeah we're excited um that's the biggest thing for today is having his party my one neighbors keep saying he keeps saying he said you're gonna like what we got him i'm wondering what they got him i wonder if they went to i hope they didn't give him a record player i really don't want a record player in his house y'all because he's been screaming he wants a record player i think he's too young for a record player Oh God, <laughs> this is his Super Mario banner I put up and I put together that balloon. Girl, this is supposed to be a long arch. Uh, honey, I was tired, so this is it. Like I said, simple, not a lot. I got those balloons from the Dollar Tree and yeah. All right, you guys, we are narrowing down to about two hours before I have my warmers out. These ceramic warmers I got at the Goodwill, um, the, the, what was it? It was the year I got married because we did stuff at home. Six dollars I got at the Goodwill and it was brand new. Um, just got some party favors and stuff out here, some candy and stuff. Um, I'm gonna put the cake right here in the center. We're gonna have the food up here. Very simple, it's not a lot. The soup is in a crock pot, I'll show you that in a minute. Just got chips and we're gonna do corn darks and fries for the kids. Um, simple crackers for the soup. I got some more crackers, I'm gonna put the other bag or the other one um this is the soup it's gonna go away for the entire two hours on high and if it's not done <sighs> by i'm looking at the clock and this is potato corn chowder is what this is going to be if it's not done by 11 o'clock which is in another hour at 11 30 if it's not done by 11 30 i'm going to put it on top of the stove crank it up on hot let it come to a boil if I boil it for 15 minutes, it'll be done like that. And I'll pop it back in here and put it on low. Oh my God, that's Thomas's dad going in. He like, he's lost a bunch of weight. That's Thomas's dad. He went in, I know, he looked really skinny. Come on, sweetheart. Yes, they are in the same class. Yeah. Do that one. Let's see what you got. You okay? You want some water? Let's see what you got. This one's from me. Oh, look. Show everyone. I knew they were. Show everyone what they are. Can you read? Could you read the name on it? Because it's so small. Can you read the name on them? Read the name on this one. See if you can sound that out. <coughs> M. <coughs> C. 
So what? What is? <laughs> Another white one. So you tell him it's 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 Marvin Gaye, okay? You can put those up. No, I don't know where, where I'm gonna put these in the collection. What? <laughs> it's uh, it's Marvin Gaye greatest hits. <laughs> yeah. Okay, baby, you can move. Oh, he has to put them together. Yay! This is from. What is? Oh, it's a it's a game. Yay! Oh yeah! Oh, look at the sign or oh, the the card. Taryn made the card. You know what that is? Oh, wow! <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate it. Okay. Let me show you. He, he's gonna come show you how to open it, baby. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. So those, yeah. What do they call those? Uh, oh, those are really small. 45s, yeah. Forty-five. Yeah. Oh, this is right. Okay. Now. So this is still new, but it's like. They make them like the roll. Right, right. But be, be careful be though. Careful yeah, yeah. That's the only thing. You so, have to be careful with so that. Like when you're ready to play the record, you put it. Would it play you see it? Look at the big thing. Yeah. This thing here, which holds the needle like that, when you store it. All right? You're ready not to store it, this comes off. So you can move that away. All right, let me this other press. And then what you do is, and then what you do here, you rest the needle here. <laughs> see this thing? You push it down. So then you can put the record on top of here. The big record, or if you have what's called a 45, which is the small record, you use that. Oh, it plays both. It plays actually the <laughs> What's that, Jay? Oh! oh. Cool. I had the Spider-Man one, too. Oh, yeah? Oh. What is that? Thank you. He's a member of the Yeah. And more gummies. Oh, thank you. We just came from the dentist. Thank you. <laughs> right? Can you get to see this? Does he have a joke too? All right, you guys. So we are back to normal. It is exactly 40 minutes after the um, party. Look, I don't play. I went ahead and started putting stuff away, cleaning stuff off. The balloons are still down here. Balloons up, but. I need to begin packing for our stay at the resort for tomorrow. Um, tonight I'm gonna be making Nan pizza, very simple. Like literally the only thing I have to do is cook the chicken, prepare the veggies. And so that'll be a simple dinner for us for tonight um, because I ended up giving that soup away. Um, yeah, cause it's good to me. <laughs> you like oh lord jamie's been back here Let, let's just show them real quick baby because then i have to go back my room is a mess jb even told me my room was a mess so like look i these are the three cassettes i got for my birthday today mm -hmm. i got this one and this one and this one okay and i got this for my birthday today and i got this record for my birthday okay today. wow and i got this one at goodwill yeah, I know, baby. That's amazing. And I found a crystal. Mm-hmm. A pink one. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm, hold on a minute. Let me get my drink, y'all. Let me get my drink. Wait, what? We have mediocre food, but drink. I got another. Mm. I also found. That's good. Some, Look at my hair, y'all. I also mm. found um, the baby talking about. this little pink. Rocky thing, mm -hmm. and I oh, <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, they and can't the, see this. Cause... Ooh, we gotta go to the gift shop before we go to Dunkin' Donuts, okay? Wait, no, going up. Now, let's go to Dunkin' Donuts when we go. The gift shop may not even be open. If the gift shop's not open, then. If the gift shop's not open, then yeah. Come on, baby.
Okay, y'all. It is Monday morning. This is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a bathing suit, but then this coverall for girl. My children. JB bought his raggedy kids on this trip. <laughs> JB, JB. <laughs> You too loud, baby. Oh my god, I'm tired still. I'm tired. I'm sleepy. And we know why. Because of exhibit A. 